All right, guys, Cowboy 32 here. Check it out. So on occasion, people have asked me about buffers, buffer springs, buffer tubes, the different types of buffers, the H1, H2, H3. Uh, what are the differences in them and why would you want something like that? Well, let's just talk about this real quickly um, because we're going to delve into this guy right here. This is the uh, Strike Industries Optimus weight buffer. And maybe there's an advantage of having one buffer that you can put multiple different weight systems in. But in any case, while we're doing that, let's talk about this. Okay, so I got a couple of my old rifles out here and I wanted to talk to you about this right here. I don't even know what this is. This was in one of my rifles. This is why when somebody asked me, uh, what's the difference between an H1 or a regular old standard buffer? Well, shoot, man, that's a great question. And so let's learn about this together. I thought that'd be a good opportunity. I deal with a bunch of different rifles, JP Sonic Capture Spring. I mean, right here is a low mass operating system here. Uh, this is, uh, goes into a rifle length buffer system that's on this guy right here, my competition rifle. That's my uh, three gun rifle. So anyway, uh, yeah, and so let's talk about this. I've got this buffer right here. Now let's see, how much does this booger weigh? It's 3.1 ounces. All right, so let's just say that's 3.1 ounces. And I just went ahead and decided to, in an effort to try and um, explain this better, I wanted to uh, show you guys the different setups. So we got H1, H2, H3 buffers. So I don't even know what the size this one is. It doesn't even explain it. This is a double tungsten H2 buffer. Okay, so, okay, there they are. So this is an H2. So that was 3.1. This is 4.6. Let's see, this is a uh, heavy buffer. It doesn't say how much it is. These are all made by Luth AR. 3.8, so we got a 3.8 right there. And then we have this guy right here. This is an H3 buffer, which is five and a half, 5.5. Now, Go ahead and put these away. By the way, these are all made by Luth AR. I got these off of Big Daddy Unlimited. There's a link down below. I just placed an order. Kind of a, a guns and gear inspired rifle, not a DMR rifle, because I got plenty of those. Anyway, but uh, ordered some stuff off there today. And just with my one order, I saved over $110. And that included a Geisley uh, Mark 8, I believe it was, handguard, 15 inch, and a Seekins precision barrel and a uh, aero precision upper stripped receiver this guy right here is a low mass operating system i love these guys one reason i would go for a low mass operating system is it's fast i'm taking a recoil down uh this big bad boy is 3.2 ounces that's amazing right there so it's just a little bit above that and then you've got this guy right here uh, i can't remember who made this one but uh, this i've never had any problems out of it but why do you want to change your buffers out? Well, operating systems, gas systems, uh, different length of gas systems, uh, what you're wanting to do ideally for a good operating cycling uh, direct impingement, I want my ejection to go out at about the four o'clock position. If you're over gas, it's gonna be launching out to the front. Under gas, you're not even gonna operate. So one of the things you can do in an effort to do something like that, let's see here. All right, so here we are, man. This is one of the coolest battle rifles I have right here. It's got the Purst 4 on it, running a Surefire on this thing. And I absolutely love this. And I'm a big fan of these quad rails right here. Uh, this is a UTG Pro. Now, uh, for the money, I think it's probably one of the best ones out there. Uh, you can get these for less than 100 bucks. Now, here's what we do. When, and let me explain this to you. So, heavier buffer will slow the operating system down. A uh, lighter buffer will make it fast. When you get 23,000 PSI, it runs back through this gas port all the way up here through your gas tube and into your carrier. It's going to launch back and forth just like that. The heavier the buffer, the slower the operation. When you have an overgas gun and you can adjust how the gas system works along with the buffer system and the spring, an overgas is going to launch out that way. A proper gas system is going to shoot out right here. As a matter of fact, the majority of my rifles, all I have to do is I can look over, I could probably launch my spent cases into a five gallon bucket. Another thing that we'll be talking about down the line is adjustable gas systems. Like this guy right here, it's running an adjustable gas block. 
I can't remember. That's an Odin Works. Absolutely love this thing. But with this rifle length gas system on a short barrel, like that 16 inch right there, as a matter of fact, this is a JP spring and it's polished stainless steel. And I want you to hear the big difference between these two. This was, this rifle is absolutely one of my absolute favorites. I'll tell you the difference, but when you have a excellent tube, that's what I'm talking about. Hear that? Nothing. And look at that gold trigger. What are we here for? We are talking about this guy right here, the Optimus Weight Buffer System. And it's a pretty neat little deal. I actually had to look up the instructions on how this bad boy operates. Okay, so what we are looking at is a buffer. Now, it looks similar in size and in length and everything else. It's got the little Teflon rubber bumper there. But just by looking at it, let's do this. The weight, that thing weighs only one ounce. And the reason why is because Look at this, it's pretty cool. It's empty. Ta -da. So the premise behind this whole deal is this. You have all these weights. We have, uh, let's see, uh, steel weights. We have tungsten weights, there's two of those. And you have aluminum weights. Then you have an assortment of these guys right here. These are spacers with an O-ring. This is pretty cool stuff here. Uh, it feels like that's just made of like a little rubber film or something of that nature. You're going to take this guy right here and you're going to slide it over top of that. So that's like your seal. Keeps it probably from undoing while you're running 100,000 rounds through it. Now, the reason we're doing this review on this now, yeah, is because I want you guys to see this thing before I put it in a rifle. Because I'm, what I'm going to do is actually, we got a whole Strike Industries build series coming up, and this is the first part of it. Now, what I would do is, if I want to run like a H1, H2, and an H3, I'm going to figure out how heavy this thing needs to be. So this guy right here, what do we say this is like 4.1 ounces? All right, 3.8. So I can take, I guess you want to put one of these things in right here, and then you're gonna take one of these steel weights, and you can actually make it all the way up. If I know, that this guy empty was one ounce, right? And I wanted to make it uh, more than one ounce. <laughs> I can go one ounce. There's a point ones. I could put a tungsten in here. So these tungstens by themselves. Let me get the lighting right on that. There we go. That's 1.4 ounces. The other tungsten is gonna get us to 2.9. So basically, if I add this, that's gonna give me 3.8, which was 3.8. So we can go ahead and add these in here. We'll go ahead and put one tungsten in. And then I'm gonna put another one of these little spacers in. I'm gonna add another tungsten. In. I'm going to put a spacer and we might have to go a little heavy because I think you're supposed to fill this guy up and then we'll put another spacer in might be about four ounces it's moving around 4.5 which now I am an H2 it's 4.6 so anyway, if I needed to, I could take one of these things out right here and add an aluminum in there, which is let's see where that puts us. 
But you get the gist of it. The idea is that you've got an assortment of weights. You can actually tune your rifle to where it be want where it needs to be because you have the assorted weights right here. And you can just go make it shoot the way you want it to, which I think is really, really cool. And that's gonna get us 3.8. How about that? So instead of having to buy all these different ones, you can fine tune your buffer system with this guy, $59.99. And I paid $20 a piece for these guys right here. So it's a wash. So anyway, guys, that's it. Real cool video. I thought it'd be kind of cool to sit down and chat about this stuff uh, and share it with you, share some of my thoughts about how operating systems work. One of the things we're going to be talking about here in the near future is uh, adjustable gas blocks. That's going to be a fun one because I've got a bunch of those guys. In any case, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom comes in 556. Well, shit, I think somewhere along in there. Let's go to boy 32. I'm out.